side word. Okay, it's time for this or that. This or that. This or that. This or that. <laughs> <laughs> like I okay. can cut that out. So, <laughs> this this is a new feature we're trying out every single Friday on Instagram. If I can be bothered, which is every single Friday, right? <laughs> um, we do a poll. There's going to be about five to ten questions, and it's just basically saying this or that. And we're going to go through them now, and we'll see what um, us guys think, yeah, and what our answer would be. And then also we'll look at what our listeners and Instagram followers said. So if you mm-hmm. want to take part, go over to the b-side word or at the b-side word on instagram and you will see every single friday a little poll for you guys mm-hmm. so the first question is this or that never ever wear socks again or never wear underwear again never wear underwear um, what do you think it's each i'm not wearing underwear right now though it's <laughs> are you saying you wear, that only you the pants? thing between me and you is that thin layer of cloth <laughs> i think never wear undies just because you don't want to be in trainers with no socks and stuff yeah, like running sucks. about that sucks next to be honest with you i, I wouldn't wear socks mm. this is not a debate oh, <laughs> it's not a debate <laughs> well, the the listeners said fifty seven percent chose never wear undies again, and forty three percent said never wear socks. It's again. pretty close. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I'm. This is not a right or wrong you're answer. You're like, yes, yeah, I got I'm it like, right. Yeah, <laughs> that, that means you're 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 common. I'm you're co- predictable, <laughs> Deb. Now, because <laughs> undies give you support. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, next, next one. Would you rather live forever or only live for ten more years? Uh, forever. Forever. Ten years. I'm selling everything and I'm living the high life. But if you can live forever, I'm gonna take my time you can take and your just time. like, just be slow. That sounds boring as <laughs> that hell. That sounds boring as hell. <laughs> it sounds amazing to me. <laughs> I'm living to the Guys, max. Guys, I live the fast life. I want to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> You don't. I know. I don't. don't. It just seems faster. (laughs) This is interesting because forever is like a long time. time. And I guess there's so many questions you have like, what, when the earth goes? I just float around in space? What happens? (laughs) Yeah, 10 years from now. I don't know. But anyway, 67% of our listeners said live forever and 33% said Hold on. Because you've got way, like, so much time to go and explore every... I'm uncommon. No, you're I'm uncommon. You, you just want to pick that other one now, don't you? Mr. I've got my own brain. <laughs> All right, next. Okay, so bear in mind, this is, I wake up in the morning and then I write these down. That's like one of my steps in the morning. So they Did you design these weird. questions this, yourself? Yeah, yeah. Nice. So this one is, would you rather walk on water or swim in air? Swim in air. Swim in air. Swim in air. Now, the reason I said swim in air, because... And I didn't put this across. Was it means you have to do like a swimming motion? Like oh you would in the swimming pool. man! <laughs> well, was that mean when you're walking? No. Walk on water or swim in air. So no, because all... when when we're walking, like on the land, we're going yeah. through air, right? Was that does that mean we have yeah. to swim while we're walking? Nah, because you're on land. Yeah. Because yeah. that'd be quite no, annoying. This is like in the in the. No, nah, when you're just you. hovering and then you just like. I'd still do swimming, but I'd do backstroke because it's just easier. <laughs> I, I couldn't imagine you doing backstroke. Oh, there goes Emma. Backstroke, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to be like getting exhausted doing like freestyle. No, I'm pretty sure if you're doing this for a long period of time, you still get exhausted. <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't backstroke easy because you can just like keep your head above the water? Yeah, you just. You like, know what? Ah. I would actually then, walk on water. If you're, swimming, if you're swimming through air, you don't have to worry about putting your head anywhere. You can have your head. Why walk on water? Want. I feel like that's harder that way. Hey, hear me out here. If I was to go fishing and I could walk on water, I could walk to where the fish are. Drop my line, <laughs> catch them, and walk back. But you have I can to swim there. But you're on air. Yeah. And so I can drop my line anywhere. Yeah, but you have to be quite close to the water. You can still get eaten by a shark. How can you get eaten by a shark? I stop on his head. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't gain like 300 <laughs> kilos to like. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <What the> <laughs> I don't know. Did you just listen to what you just said? Yes. I'll <laughs> stomp on him. <laughs> It'll be a stomp of one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> quickly, we've got to go. Quickly, quickly. Okay, okay. So um the listener said six two percent said swimming air. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought it would have been more than more. that. Uh this is an interesting one. Never be lied to or always know if someone is lying. 
Always know. Always know. Someone's, someone's lying. lying. <laughs> Always know. Okay. Always. Seventy-five percent said that as well. But still, twenty-five percent said never be lied to. That's Although, yeah, that's interesting. Like, I wouldn't want to ever be lied to, to be honest. No, but if you know you're being lied to, you, you know you can play. Like, you know, you like, can oh, manipulate. She, them. She's lying. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> no, I just like if they're lying, I go okay, and then just walk away and not know where that person stands anyway. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Mm. Okay, next. Okay. Uh, get one million pounds today or get two million pounds in three years' time? Oh. One million pounds today. Two million pounds in three years' time. Mm. I don't know if I'm going to be in three years' time. At least I know I have a yeah. million dollars to spend. But I said I'm going to live forever, so I guess I'm fine. <laughs> 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 and maybe, do I put a clause in this? Like, this doesn't guarantee the results. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, two million three years. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll make a million dollars in by the time you have. I'll make a trillion dollars before your two million dollars comes. Boom! And a, tr- a trillion dollars is one billion Olympic sized swimming pools of <laughs> <on> million dollars. <so>. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice segue. <laughs> it's too high to fathom. Say so what now? That's a really interesting <laughs> one because, uh, like, uh, you could argue like a million pound and two million pound, like, in my life, both of them will make a very significant yeah. change. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. Obviously, two means more, but I would rather my life change significantly today. Like yeah. now, have to wait three years. like right yeah. now. Like yeah. I think a one million pound is enough to put me in the direction I want to be in. Yeah, hundred percent. Anyway, oh, and the listeners said forty percent said today a million pound, and sixty percent said in three years' time. Two Ooh, million pounds. Oh, uncommon. Oh. Uncommon. We're and just this is the most interesting smart. one. Okay, this is this is a good one. And this okay. Is, Okay. I'm really interested to hear your answers. All right. There's so many like levels to this. Bring it. Would you rather punch a kid in the face, but nobody finds out, or you don't punch the kid in the face, but everyone thinks you did? The second one. The second one. Because I don't care what people <laughs> think. I don't care what people think of me, but I have to look at myself in the mirror. So the second one. That I might ruin the B-Side Word podcast if I hate to punch a kid in the face. I, I understand that, yeah. but I I know every morning when I wake up that I didn't. Yeah, but everyone thinks that you did. It doesn't matter. Like, you wake up every morning and you go, I got away with punching someone in the face. <laughs> Not someone, a kid. <laughs> a kid. Feel good about okay. yourself. How old is this kid? I'm going to say, this is another thing, because people vote on this not knowing that assumption. But I'm going to say this kid is 10 years old. I, was, I knew you were going to say 10. How did you know? I just knew. Um, you had a feeling? You didn't know. Maybe you had I should a be one of those um, people Stop. that... Which one would you pick? Okay. Is it um, one of those really annoying kids that are like, uh, trying to rob stuff? <laughs> He's trying to justify punching them. <laughs> trying to be, like, trying to it's like, a, it's get a into randomly petty, selected petty crime. Because CJ's done this already. <laughs> <laughs> and you just want to punch him and like, you know, they'll snap him out of the petty crime in illegal ways. <laughs> if know. it's that kid, would you do it? <laughs> if it helps him in the future, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. It's a poor innocent little soul, and I'll say no. It was a four year old. Hell no! I can't punch a four year old. I can't. I can't punch any. You know the problem. What the problem is with this? It's just if wrong. somebody did want to choose um, number two, like they'll punch a kid in the face, but no one finds out by answering that. Yeah, this, everyone finds out. Everyone finds out. <laughs> That's what they would have done. It's like a catch so Of course, questions. they're gonna say two, right? <laughs> like if it was oh. a sixteen year old, because that could be considered a child. 16. Oh, God, I didn't even think about that. I honestly thought I couldn't look at myself in the mirror every morning. Like, like the, 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 the what I was thinking of, you know, those like 15, 16 year olds. Yeah. Like, like still shit. Yeah. Like one of them come up. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have an issue. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so, CJ is <laughs> like. It was a four year old. Hell no, I can't CJ do that. is like um, the police. Right. But okay. with no badge and no qualification. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like, is that a compliment to CJ? You remember the <laughs> angels? You remember the angels in um, Chicago back in the Charlie's? day? Charlie's? No, not Charlie Angels. <laughs> they used to come like they used to wear these these leather jackets, and they were ang- like I don't know what they're called, angel something. And they those used, angels, the buggies. not hell. Like they used to go on the subways and make sure people they took people um, safely home and stuff. They were trying mm. to make the subways oh safer, yeah, safer. Do you remember them, the angels? No, um, I, I didn't really hear about to be honest. Oh, okay, no, okay. Like so, yeah. I, I, the way I'm seeing it, some fourteen, is that CJ? So, some. 15, 16 year olds probably could use a punch in the face. <laughs> I, I, you mean disciplined? <laughs> they don't need a punch in the face, but disciplined. I get that. But if it was one of them, I wouldn't, yeah, I'd punch him in the face. Yeah. But if it was like a four year old, nah, well, I couldn't do that. 
So the results are actually quite, maybe to your surprise, that 69% actually said number one. They would punch a kid in the face, but <laughs> let no one find out. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's that, nice I, to see what type of listeners we have. I, I just I just needed more, more um, you know, more, I need to know more about it. Because, like, yeah, it was like a f- three-year-old, four-year-old, you know. Nah, It'd be I horrible for everyone to think that. that you did punch someone when you didn't know. That would suck. Because everyone would look at you differently as well. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this week's episode of The B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.